going to start with skin prep of course because that is what going to make the whole difference i've already washed my face so starting with the toner today i'm using the nimbusine's calming toner which makes my skin feel so so hydrated from within and since i have sensitive dry skin this also helps in treating any redness or irritation Layering Clare Supple Preparation Toner. I'm focusing it on my dry patches and the areas I'm going to apply concealer on so that it sets in nicely and does not crease. This one's more on moisturizing side, so I love layering it up with my hydrating watery toner. Then I'm using this vitamin C serum from this brand called OOTD. This one I have started using very recently. It's been working great for my dark spots and I love the way it leaves a subtle glow to my skin. Adding in a little bit of moisturizer because the sunscreen that I'm going to use is also quite moisturizing. But no matter how humid it is, I just cannot skip moisturizer. Like it's a staple in my skincare routine. For sunscreen, I prefer to use two fingers worth. This one never makes my skin feel greasy or sweaty no matter what amount I apply. Lastly, using this SPF lip balm and that is it for the skincare. I usually keep a gap of like 5 to 8 minutes between my skincare and makeup so that it does not look patchy and it sits nicely on my face. So I'm going to do my hair in the meantime. My hair as you can see, they are not in a great condition. I don't know in monsoon, they just get crazy, crusty and flat very easily. And I know most of you can relate with me right now but I'm going to fix that with this Make Me Bold Dry Shampoo from Urban Yog and make them look a little fresh add in some volume make sure to spray a few spots in the air and then on your scalp from a palm distance the white starch that you're seeing is just natural potato and rice starch that is going to absorb all the dirt and oil from your scalp let it sit for like good three to five minutes then massage it well and comb away the residue it has a mild long lasting fragrance so it's going to make your scalp smell fresh all day also it is benzene free and suitable for chemically treated hair so don't worry it is not going to affect you your hair and look at that instant bounce like look at the volume in my hair i mean if you're a busy busy girl or a lazy girl like me and cannot wash your hair every other day then this is going to be a savior like my bangs are already in place i didn't have to do anything else one product and my hair is already styled then i'm going to use this streaks hair serum on the lens of my hair to tame them down and i am literally done i don't do a lot for my hair every single day I just let them be and this is how my everyday hairstyle looks basically okay so let's begin with makeup now i've been using these two concealers these days first is a l'oreal infallible one this is a full coverage thick concealer and i'm not very used to using thick concealers so i just take a little bit on the back of my hand thin it out and apply an even layer on almost all of my face yes i'm that girl who says i don't apply foundations but then proceed to apply concealer on all of her face literally it's a shade darker to my skin tone so i use it as a corrector sort of it evens out my skin gives a flawless coverage without making my skin look cakey and it does not enhance my texture that is what i love about this particular concealer then using this Maybelline concealer which is more of a liquidy concealer i apply it on the areas i want to brighten up a little bit i am going to let it sit on my face for a few minutes so that it sets in a little better and i'm going to do my brows as we wait for it to set i only use this essence brow gel and after using it for literally a year i finally figured out how to use it actually so i just take off the excess product and comb up my eyebrows with it the tint is just perfect not too light not too much then i use the tip of the spoolie to fill in any sparse areas and even though it does not make a dramatic change but still it makes a lot of reference to the overall look now we are going to bring back some flush of color to my face firstly using this peripera tint because trust me this lasts longer than the regular cream blushes also i love how it blends into my skin gives the pigment but still looks so so natural i just love this formula in general it's so velvety so cloudy even on the lips it looks so so beautiful it's just that i've not found the right shade yet for my lips and i love using blushes if you can't already tell so i'm going to layer up another one this one is also my favorite i think these coral peachy tones of blushes suit my skin tone a little better than the pinky ones and of course i'm going to apply all the excess product on my eyelids 
I'm not a powder girly, but this one compact powder, I love. This sets my base so nicely, blows out the pores, mattifies my skin without adding in a noticeable layer. Also, these powder puffs are just so good if you want your makeup to look airbrushed and smooth. Lastly, for my eyes, just going to curl up my lashes because I just cannot go out without doing this step because it just makes a huge difference to my eyes, to my entire face. To make my face look even more woken up, I'm adding this mascara which is almost dried up but I love how it adds the volume without making my eyelashes look clumpy. These days, I've been loving more subtle kind of lashes. I mean, I'm not loving the drama in general. For lips, firstly, I'm going to use a dark brown lip liner. I used to be a natural lip tint look girl but these days I'm enjoying glossy cherry cola lip combo which I was never confident enough to go out with but now I am. <laughs> Adding this Fay Beauty lip whip to add in a little more brown color, just tapping it in, not gliding it because I don't want a lot of pigment and using this romantic tint to add a little cherry red. Topping it up with brush lip oil and this is the lip combo that I've been wearing a lot these days. With that, everything's done. I think the makeup turned out pretty good if not the best. Let me know what do you guys think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.